Hello everybody and welcome to another live deck building video. Today we just got a normal Joe Diamond deck. Nothing strange. Completely normal. Uh, actually, like, I'm not even joking. There's no weird twist. Uh, it's just that we're gonna focus around Farsight and uh, the Hunch deck's only purpose is to fill up our hand with cards. That's all it is. Nice and simple. Should be pretty sweet. So how many Hunches do we need? We need... 10 insights 10 insights all right there was the one that i was just deck. when i was just building with travis that i've just now completely forgot the name of the card <laughs> deep knowledge thank you travis thank you <laughs> so welcome. i saw in someone else they had oh hunches look at that it did it for me perfect wow yeah it just goes under deck quantity under hunches okay so what are other car uh, insights that draw cards uh, so there's the preposterous sketches, the two cost of one that draws you three if there's a clue at your location. And they cost two less than your deck too, right? <clears throat> yes, sir. Sick. Okay. Uh, so, and then we just need a bunch of, uh, wait a minute. Play. Okay, so like we're I, just like it, like we're using like pretty much every seeker event in this deck, right? <laughs> is, that, I, is that what I'm getting? <laughs> like the way that I read it, uh, you can use the far side to play cards off his hunch deck. Oh, as because if the were... hunch deck says <laughs> as if it was in your hand, and far side yeah. says from your hand. So yeah, <laughs> what I'm learning today, Bryn, is that you've tricked me. <laughs> this, <laughs> this isn't normal. <laughs> this. This is just us drawing a billion cards with Farsight, isn't it? I mean, like, we have to have eight cards in hand in order for Farsight to work. And then... So we need we need cards in our hunch deck that draw us cards, because then we can play them without losing cards in our hand. Oh. <laughs> it's actually just a hand-sized deck, Justin. All right, well... <laughs> <laughs> I just I I I'm out of my element right now. So do we get some dream enhancing serums then? <laughs> I know Travis does that. I mean, like uh, if I mean, you're like not gonna could. play tomes, then probably. But actually, probably uh, not too, right? Because to it makes it harder for us to hit our far sight. But at the same time, yeah. you want to have a lot of cards in your hand. Yeah. Hmm. So like the hand size. Uh, the cards that alter our hand size requirements, our options are like that. The one that lets you put a tome into its slot, yeah. which I'm not certain that there's anything we want to play. Uh, not particularly. I mean, we could play like Wall Prepared in the Necronomicon if we were feeling that, but that's a lot of experience. <laughs> it is. I'm... It is. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's finish our hunches deck. Tell me what else we got okay. to put in here. Okay. I am just the monkey that presses keyboard keys. And I'll make jokes. Like, dang, Joe. <laughs> well, that's, I don't, I don't have any jokes. Don't put yourself on the spot, Justin. You're not that good. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, so, Brim, what's this deck? What, what are we doing with our hunch deck oh, here? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Yeah. Like, are we actually just playing, like, just good cards and building around? So, uh... Like, the hunch the hunch deck takes us to keep our hand around eight cards so that we can continue to use <clears throat> Farsight. Uh, so are we then, full of card draw? What we're doing with our main deck is, uh, yeah, we're, pro we're probably going to try and keep, like, because uh, the card draw is easy to play, right? Like, we don't want the conditional cards to be in the... Uh, in the hunch, the hunch deck, deck, we want the hunch deck cards to just be play cards that you'll play because it's your hunch this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, then in the main deck, something we're going to try to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, something we're going to try to do is we're going to try and play like a bunch of spirit events from the Nathaniel Cho deck to be oh. able to fight at fast speed. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Okay, uh, does that mean, um, uh, do we need a bandolier and some boxing gloves? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, boxing gloves would do an admirable job of keeping 
our handful. All right. In order to facilitate the use. Bryn, you're you're in you're in charge site. here. You're in charge. I'll get the bandolier that's a, going. That's a mistake. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll dare. Like, we only want the upgraded bandolier, but I can just put this one in. Right? I mean, we don't we don't need the upgraded bandolier, right? Like, it depends what we're doing with our other hand slots. Yeah. Well, that's the question. Yeah. Um. That's that yeah. I don't have the answer to because I honestly thought this was just going to be a normal deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but this is like, oh my god, it's Joe Diamond coming down the ramp and he's got a steel chair. Like, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. well, we got to finish this hunch deck. What are other cards yeah, that yeah, draw yeah. cards? Uh, give me some advance. What's uh? What's, what are some other good card draw options, Travis? We could play Ghastly Revelation, and then if it ever comes up, we just kill ourselves. Um, <laughs> uh, is that I, a good plan? Probably not. I disagree not. Okay. with that okay. one. I, I um, like that um, sentence. We should play Guidance so that we can play it with the far side fast and just give somebody extra action. Yeah, but that's part of the main deck. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked Bryn's question because it started so normal. It said, Travis, what are good card draw spells? We could play Ghastly Revelation because yeah. we could just kill ourselves if we draw it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that doesn't... Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not so, drawing cards, not right. actually. <laughs> oh, you're telling me Dynamite Blast? It's like drawing cards when you start the next thing and you have five new cards in your hand. Yeah, it's uh, like we stuff like we all play, the Hunch deck, like no stone unturned yeah. is an option. Yeah. Yeah, no, a very strong option really probably good. to help us find the far yeah. sight. Um, yeah, it does everything we want. What's the Dunwich one? Preposterous sketches? We got that, we got that. Okay. Um, I think that might actually be like it. For card draw? For I, yellow I events so that too. just draw you cards at level zero. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that appears to be true. Uh, maybe just then the other stuff is... What if we give them something normal that helps them, like the one that just discovers a clue at your location? Yeah. Well, that, uh, just I mean, that is fun. And we can also grab a scene of the crime for the other one, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Just give them something like normal to go back to that moment, <laughs> that brief moment I had at the beginning of this video. Yeah. <laughs> Even Travis came back and he was like, what are we doing? And I'm like, oh, dude, don't worry. It's just a normal <laughs> Joe Diamond deck. It's true. Okay. Uh, all right. We're done the hunch deck. So then we like stuff like guidance is kind of get, I guess just everything's a hunch if it has insight. Okay. Yeah. What cool. sort of blue events can we play? Uh, we need lots of spirits. <laughs> All right, well, we can... uh, man, a lot of these spirits are, are a lot worse when you're not Nathaniel Cho. Oh man. So what if we put uh, what if we put one two punch in our hunch deck, and then sometimes. Oh, I don't think we can. It's a spirit. Oh yeah, no, you're right. It's not an insight. You can't just have a have a hunch where you're like, I need to hit this guy really hard. I mean, I do think one two punch should be in the deck if we're doing but, yeah, this no, weird boxing. It should be. Thing. It should be. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need like lots of well, maybe not lots of economy, but we're gonna need some economy anyway. Cool. I'll grab the uh, clean them out. Um, um, stand together is always good. Yep. Uh, burning the midnight oil, we could all probably actually make work. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, what other spirits do we want? Are there any sick-ass seeker spirits? 100% probably not, but... 
A man can fish. They, yeah, they sure. get insights. Yeah, there's like red and purple ones. Damn. Uh, but other than that, I think they're mostly. There's one green one, two green ones, but one of them is the resign event. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, yep. Do, we want, do uh, we want any assets? Like, what ally do we want in this deck? Is it just Greta again? If we play upgraded Greta, we can't play upgraded Greta because she's level three. Never mind. That's sad. So not Greta. Uh, maybe maybe it's just Beacop because we're gonna need a way to pick up all the damage that we're not doing because we aren't fighting with weapons. Excellent point, Brim. Yeah. <laughs> um, we uh, probably want counter punches again because yeah, they're a spirit. Yeah. And uh, if we it's play, a thing if we that play does Bandolier, damage. We could just play like a one-handed weapon as well. Yeah, with Bandolier. Yeah, uh, I personally am a huge fan of the Colt Thirty Two. Sure, let's do it. I'm not sure it's good enough with his four punch. That's an excellent point. Cool. We, we, got, uh, we, got buck. we got what? We got boxing gloves. <laughs> Technically, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Joe Diamond can become uh, can become the champ by uh, shooting the other guy. You just want to play a gun in a boxing glove. <laughs> Look, I've already done that. I can tell you it's good. Uh huh. Um, okay, so what's what, what's your what's your idea for a one-handed weapon? I, I'm all ears. Like literally any gun that gives us plus punch. <laughs> <laughs> like the forty-five. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> or like enchant blades, an option. Like something that makes his four punch better. <laughs> You're not happy with just sitting there with boxing gloves doing all the lifting? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm with Travis. I think the 45 will work nice for that. All right. Because then with like right. boxing gloves and beat cop, we attack at seven, which is really nice. Do we... What, what else do we do? What, what, um, I don't know why this is flummoxed me. Any other assets? Like, is there a good necklace slot that we can use? We desperately need to play something to make money. Um, yeah, uh, we could. We could play real. I, I vote for cryptic ratings. Cryptic writings. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, we'll pro we probably will just draw it. Yeah. So That's then for fair. resources, we have clean them out, stand together, burning the midnight oil, and cryptic writing. So we got eight cards. I think that's pretty good. So what if we use the bandolier to hold a magnifying glass? But what about our gun? Well... No. Bandolier can't hold it can only hold main well I mean it can yeah yeah but like it can't it can because like it can mean that we're only wearing one boxing glove <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> we don't have to do that all right we need eight more cards may I suggest uh a full suite of vicious flow deduction practice makes perfect and another practice skill yeah travis that seems like a great idea boom this just instantly became the most the best deck we've done on this uh, <laughs> this uh what should our last uh, practice be we have the choice of overpower or perception we can take either one yep. uh what if we take one of each or we could take leadership Oh, let's do that. Let's do leadership. Sick. 
Wow. Brian's what? like, damn, Travis hijacking my cool deck idea and turning it into a good it's deck. Good. It's good. So we have 16 events. Six of them are just down here that we don't want in there, but... <laughs> Uh, we could also play. There's a couple like other uh, practice skills that we have options of. Take the initiative is practiced, I believe, and uh, the new Trish one is as well. Uh, sorry, what's that one? The new Trish one. Um, plan of action. Yeah, plan of action is probably pretty solid. What if we? Um... What will we burn from that? We probably don't want to, like, we probably need our events if we're going to be a Farsight deck, right? I like Plan of Action. Especially with Practice Makes Perfect. That's just, like, juicy gravy. Uh, what should we cut if we're going to put Plan of Action in? Like... <laughs> Uh, if we lose the 45 automatic and the bandolier, we can play an ally as well. Uh, Playing some uh, lab assistance might not be awful. Yeah, like that uh, That does help us stay at 8 cards without having to like, well, I gotta play all these or discard them. Yeah. Uh, that would be true. Man... You know what I'm looking at right here, guys? I'm looking at Bryn and Travis, who have just, like, who <laughs> both just been like, let's do this. And, like, Bryn is like, we're doing this. And then Travis is like, no, we're going to put a practice makes perfect package in so that we do something. You don't, you guys, add, you said you had eight cards to fill, and that's how many no, cards you go to practice like, make I'm perfect. Not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. This is, I just, this, this was, uh... I feel like I clickbaited myself and in turn <laughs> clickbaited our viewers. <laughs> Anyways, let's do some upgrades. What do you guys think if I just do the first 14 because we know what the first eight is going to be? Yeah, I mean, like, the first the first eight, uh, so, like, first first upgrade is just Farsights. Yep. Yep. Uh, what do we yep. cut for those Farsights? Uh, yes. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm wild. only beat cop because we want our laboratory assistants to sit and play. Probably, yeah. And then, like, Joe Diamond's only here to kill rats, right? Well, he'll four punch five with his gun that does things, five with the boxing gloves. Six with his... All right, we'll do yeah. it. Let's go. Yeah. Let's rock. All right, we can upgrade cards. What are... We have now six experience. What are we upgrading? Uh, upgrading the leaderships is pretty important to playing that card, I think. Mm -hmm. Any... Uh, as well, any things for our hunch deck that might be relevant as well now that we're in the upgrades? Hunch deck is Prince's problem. <laughs> <laughs> I am here just for the practice makes perfect package. I'm All here right. to tell you guys how to make the deck playable. Alright. <laughs> this show In case is, I need to play this it. This show is really three voices. We have Bryn saying we should do this. Travis <laughs> saying how do we make it um playable? And Justin saying, uh, what card did you just say that I gotta put in my deck in this deck? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> <gasps> yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. Days of. That's not that. Alright. Look at all these cards that I don't know. The Stygian Eye. That's awful. But if it's in your hunch deck, it only costs eight. That's pretty much just value. Yeah, it is just value. Um, Stygian Eye is awful if you're not playing. <laughs> oh, it's. Yeah, it's, that's garbage. You need the curse tokens. Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> we could play Glimpse the Unthinkable to turn some of our cards in our hand, which might not be good right now, into different ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. uh, that also helps a lot with finding... Um, it does It does help find the stupid action. parts of our deck that we kind of need. Sure. Yeah. 
so to glimpse the unthinkables um and then you know i mean like the level up things don't really matter as much anymore so i'm just gonna put an upgraded leadership <laughs> right now because we're really only gonna play with the upgraded decks i couldn't imagine putting someone through eight scenarios of <laughs> christmas preston what do you mean <laughs> he's got to go on a journey where he changes from <laughs> Scrooge Preston at the beginning of a Christmas Carol and Scrooge Preston at the end of a Christmas Carol where he's like yeah you're right maybe I could help other people and not be so crappy but like you know what Bryn what we'll do is tr <laughs> we'll play a, a campaign and then I'll be like the fighter <clears throat> Travis will be the clue getter and you can play that <laughs> yep you can actually just play that deck you know, for like any scenario, if, uh, any campaign you want, Brent. What if when we resume this uh, this return to the Forgotten Age, I just start doing that? And it doesn't really change what I'm capable of doing. Yeah, it probably contribute more. Boom. Uh, oh, spend experience. We actually can do one more leadership. I'll get both leaderships in here right uh, now. Okay, we have to cut two cards for these Glimpse the Unthinkables. What should we get rid of? Is that an insight? It is, yes. It is an insight. Stick it in the insight deck. No, it, it, it is, but it's included. We, <laughs> we're still two cards over. Oh. Yeah, I'll have... cut working on That card doesn't draw us cards. Sure. Yeah, good call. And then Scene of the Crime we can also burn next. Yeah, cards are trash. Yeah, they don't, they don't work with Practice Makes Perfect, and they don't do Brin's thing, so let's burn them. All right, this time we should probably upgrade into... Uh, vicious upgraded vicious blows because that's if we're being real that's how we're doing our damage yep yep yeah. uh, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yes yes uh any one cost that we can put in here sorry one level Wow, there's not many of those. Like, huh? not really. We can play Blood Eclipse to fight for three damage at a fast speed. <laughs> I'll just bank this experience and just go to our last <laughs> one. <laughs> I'll right, just yeah. tiptoe right. around that. <laughs> um, if we play Mono and Monos, we can play them fast just to deal, like, damage. As our, like... I mean, I do like the card, and I think it's good. Yeah. Or maybe we can. can. You? Maybe we can't, because we can play it only yeah. as our first action. Uh. Uh, all right, we have 12 experience, and we can just finish this deck out. Uh, any other upgraded insights that are in spicy? There's lots of good upgrade insights. Oh, Justin. yes, there are. All right. Well, you know, as I said, you're. Um, I'm ready for. Uh, so we could hypothetically play upgraded. Uh, like I don't. I'm not saying that I advocate this course of uh, action. Mm -hmm. But uh, we could play upgraded mind over matter to get to punch guys at like eight. It's probably not good. I don't even know this card existed, TBH. Uh, I I knew it existed because it is so much better in Ursula. We could play extensive research. That card's actually a good insight. Uh, what about Expose Weakness? Nope. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, no, that doesn't do what I thought it did. All right. Um, okay. Do we want these eidetic memories? They're spirits. They are. That's kind of weird. <laughs> It's almost like when I read that yeah. and I saw that I was like, it's almost yeah, as yeah. if the no, universe. Yeah, we, have, we gotta we gotta put that in there. It's like the universe actually altered itself 
for this yeah. deck list. This is some Berenstain Bears shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Travis's reaction. Just, yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, we got six experience left. Uh, um, lesson learned oh, is also an insight in the spirit, for what that's worth. You know. Mm -hmm. It is. You flip your lesson learned on your punch deck, and you're like, man, I got hunched, I got to <laughs> get punched in the face. <laughs> yeah, ooh, I don't like this punch. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you okay, Joe? <laughs> yeah, you look... Uh... Uh, we could also put in... Uh, uh, what the hell is it called? That stupid card we don't play any... I've got a plan. Yep. That could also be a way to like, actually fight things. Yeah, it's like a way to fight things that we can't just sit there and <clears throat> play round one, round two, round three with our boxing gloves. Heck yeah, yeah. level two versions are like, pretty solid, yeah. too. It Which one's like right? Pretty okay. Uh, I've got uh, five. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Alright, we have two more experience left. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna maybe just upgrade the deductions. Yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah, yeah. No, we can, we can, we can look with that. Alright, we have to cut four cards. So, Scene of the Crime is out. <laughs> and then two more. Uh, we might we not probably, need the. Uh, we could probably we lose the level zero counter punch. Sure. Yeah. Is, uh, what were you thoughts. gonna say, Travis? Which one? I was gonna suggest uh, burning the midnight oil because yep. we have the clear ships for economy as well. That's but... what I was feeling too. I think okay. that can go. Yeah, I suppose counter punch does also help us, like not just. Well, guys, I did three damage this turn. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Yeah, it plays well with lesson learned too. All right. Which we're not playing, but you know. But we could. We could add it in, no problem. We could. You could play that if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's just a normal Joe Diamond deck. <laughs> Entirely normal and human Joe Diamond. <laughs> you know, you just, you you go to Arkham DB and you're like, yeah, I would like to find a Joe Diamond deck. And then you just, you know, ah, yes, here it is. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Um... <laughs> God is dead and we killed him. That's what I'm learning today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys very soon for another Arkham video. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.